Welcome to Unknown America. Today, we will cover the 10 most notorious serial killers in the United States. Warning. The following video may contain graphic content that may be disturbing to viewers. Discretion is advised. Up first on our list is number 10, Dean Coral. Dean Candy Man Coral was the culprit behind the Houston mass murders between 1970 through 1973. Being credited for killing at least 28 young boys, Cora once owned a candy store and was an electrician. He used a couple of accomplices named David Brooks and Elmer Henley to lure young boys to his apartment where he shackled, sexually assaulted, and ultimately killed his victims. It wasn't until 1973 when Coral had a falling out with Elmer Henley who fatally shot Coral with a 20 to caliber pistol in his home in Pasadena, Texas. Elmer Henley then confessed to the heinous crimes and led police to the graves of his victims. The Houston mass murders were at the time named one of the worst serial murders in the U.S. Number 9. David Berkowitz known as Son of Sam. Berkowitz a.k.a. Son of Sam went on a killing spree in 1976 through 1977, though not as long as most serial killers. He makes the list because he made himself well-known in New York. He killed a total of six people often targeting couples and injuring many more. He claimed he was driven to kill by demons and that there was a demon that lived inside his neighbor's dog owned by Sam Carr, hence the moniker Son of Sam. It is documented that he set hundreds of fires in New York City spreading fear and discontent throughout the city. He evaded police for a year, but sent threatening letters to one of his neighbors, which ultimately led to his arrest. He pleaded guilty to six murders and was given six sentences of 25 years to life. He has been recently denied parole and serves his time at the Shawangung Correctional Facility. In New York, number 8, Sam Little. Known as the Choke and Stroke Killer, or Mr. Sam, Sam Little went on a killing spree from 1970 through 2005 and was the most prolific serial killer in United States history. Based on the number of confirmed victims and years without being caught, it is said that he has killed 93 people, but as of 2019, the FBI has only been able to verify 50 of the confessions. It wasn't until 2012 when he was arrested at a homeless shelter on a drug charge where he was extradited to California. He was then convicted for the murders of three women. After being linked through DNA evidence, it was at that time he confessed to over 93 murders. Little died in prison in Los Angeles County in 2020 at 80 years old. Number 7. Gary Ridgway, known as the Green River Killer. Ridgway's further est came in 1980 when he choked a prostitute. Charges were never brought against him. It is believed his killing spree started around 1982 in the state of Washington with the killing of a 16-year-old girl who was found in the Green River. Over the next several years, Ridgway is credited with raping and killing over 40 women, mostly sex workers, and continued killing until his last murder in 1998. Throughout the 80s, he was a prime suspect, but police never had enough evidence to convict him. He even passed a lie detector test in 1988. The police took a DNA sample and was later able to match it to DNA from one of the bodies. Forensic evidence was relatively new, making Ridgway one of the first serial killers known to be convicted using DNA evidence. He later confessed to over 48 killings, but experts believe there are more. Ridgway was arrested in 2001 and is serving life in prison without the possibility of parole. Number 6. Richard Cottingham, known as the Torso Killer, New York City in the 1970s and 1980s. Richard Cottingham left a string of brutal murders in his wake. Cottingham targeted mostly sex workers, brutally murdering them. It is believed he received his nickname the Torso Killer because he would often cut off the victim's head and hands, leaving just the torso. Only convicted of five murders. It is believed to be upwards of 100 victims. He is serving a 200-year life sentence in the new Jersey State Prison. Number 5. Joseph James D. Angelo Jr. Known as the Golden State Killer. 
for 13 years from 1973 to 1986. Joseph D. Angelo terrorized California with a string of burglaries, rapes, and murders. He is credited with over 50 rapes, 13 murders, and numerous burglaries in Sacramento and surrounding areas. Since D. Angelo was a police officer, it is believed that he used that to his advantage on victims. He was able to fly under the radar and avoid being caught for many years. In fact, it wasn't until 2018 that law enforcement finally got a break in the case. When his DNA was linked to a distant family member that used a genealogy website, he was formally charged with multiple counts of murder and other offenses. In 2020, he pleaded guilty and is now serving the rest of his life in prison. Number 4. John Wayne Gacy Known as the Killer Clown, John Wayne Gacy from Illinois was a successful contractor and part-time clown. He held a dark secret for many years as he terrorized a Chicago suburb. In the 1960s, Gacy was arrested for sexual assault of a teenage boy and served time in prison. Upon his parole in the 1970s, Gacy moved to the suburb of Chicago and began working as a contractor and part-time clown. His killing spree would begin about 1972, with Gacy luring young men and boys back to his home. He would then strangle and stab them and dispose of their bodies by burying them underneath his home. He continued this monstrous act until 1978 when he was a prime suspect in the disappearance of a young man named Robert Pius. At this time, police issue a search warrant and make the chilling discovery of what hid beneath Gacy's home. In total, he was charged for the murders of 33 young men and boys. He was convicted in 1980 and was executed by lethal injection in 1994. Number 3. Ted Bundy Ted Bundy went on a major killing spree. In his short four-year reign of terror, Bundy was said to be intelligent and would use his looks and charm to lure in his victims. It is documented that Bundy raped and brutally beat his victims to death in multiple states, such as Oregon, Washington, Colorado, Utah, and Florida. Experts believe he is actually responsible for well over 100 murders, but he only confessed to 30. Of them, he was found guilty and sentenced to death in 1979. For the murder of two college students, he was later sentenced to death. For the murder of a 12-year-old girl, Bundy was executed by electric chair in 1989. The nature of Bundy's crimes were appalling, but he became somewhat of a celebrity especially after his escape from custody in Colorado. He drew significant public attention and has since inspired many documentaries. Number 2. Dennis Rader Known as the BTK Killer, Dennis Rader with his self-assigned pseudonym of Bind, Torture, Kill or BTK, he is credited with 10 murders of men, women, and children between 1974 and 1991. What seemed like a normal guy, living a normal life with a wife and kids. Rader was seemingly a pillar of his community while serving as president of his local church congregation, but he held a dark secret that would rock his community to its core. Rader confessed that as a child, he often would torture animals by hanging them and had fantasies about torturing trapped and helpless women. His victims were often found bound, tortured, and killed. It is documented that he would take souvenirs from his victims. As a memento, he became enraged when he wasn't getting the media attention. He thought he deserved, so he sent a letter to the local TV station, stating how many more people do I have to kill before I get a name in the paper or some national attention. It wasn't until 2005 that the police get the break. They have been looking for and BTK finally gets the attention he deserves. Raider sent a floppy disk to police that was traced back to the church that Raider was the president of. It was then that they knew they had their guy. A search warrant was issued and he was arrested on his way home for lunch. He confessed all of the murders. When presented with DNA evidence, Raider was then charged with 10 murders and is currently serving 10 consecutive life sentences in a Kansas prison. Number 1. Jeffrey Dahmer 
known as the Milwaukee Cannibal. Arguably, the most notorious serial killer in the United States is Jeffrey Dahmer, not because of the number of victims, but because of the nature of his gruesome crimes he committed. Dahmer lived in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. He was described as a weird boy growing up and would often collect roadkill. He would then dissect them and collect the bones of already dead animals. In his first act of violence, he once killed tadpoles that he gifted to a teacher. It is said that the teacher Ray gifted them to another student and this enraged him. Dahmer then went to the student's house and poured motor oil in the jar, killing the tadpoles. Perhaps that was the start of Dahmer. It wasn't until he graduated high school when he committed his first murder. He killed an 18-year-old hitchhiker named Stephen Hicks and later dismembered his corpse and packed his body into plastic bags and buried him behind his parents' house. His next murder did not happen until 10 years later. Dahmer states that his obsession with killing did not start until after his second victim. After that, Dahmer would go on to kill another 15 people, mostly dismembering the bodies and experimenting on them. Dahmer was also known to practice cannibalism. It wasn't until 1991 when Dahmer finally got caught. One of his victims was able to escape and was found by police. While running down the street, when officers arrived at Dahmer's apartment, they searched the place. And that's when they made the gruesome discovery. Dahmer had the bodies of 11 people hidden in his apartment, along with photos, bones, skulls, and other disturbing things. Dahmer was arrested and faced trial in 1992, where he tried to plead insanity but was found guilt of 15 murders and sentenced to 15 consecutive life sentences. Dahmer was killed in prison in 1994 by a fellow inmate. Dahmer's case shoots him to the top of the list because of the disturbing nature of his crimes and society's infatuation with him. He has been the center of many documentaries and books detailing his life. This brings us to the end of our top 10 most notorious serial killers in the United States. If you enjoyed this content, please give my video a like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.